Hey everyone and welcome back to our free divine quest. Last time I glossed over what I've been doing and have been up to in the first 20 days, but today I wanted to do a more focused playthrough of what you can do in your first 30 days to prepare for an event or if you're just a returning player and is completely starting from scratch, meaning you don't have any pass horses or you just have a few number of pass horses and you need to build up your equus to prepare for that. Now our goal, I want to touch on this real quick, our, my goal is to get a free divine, but it's specifically going to be from an event like the maze or the treasure hunt that we've had before. So it's not going to be from a luck item or just like one of the random draws that can happen at the end of an event. I want to specifically work for this and it'll, it will include pass horses or even hops that I build up because you can use Horn of Plenty's hops uh, to complete a pinata event. So what can you do in your first 30 days to prepare to complete an event? Or if you're starting from scratch, what can you do to prepare? What I do whenever I first log in, especially if there is an event going on like there is today and events occur all the time on horse, you pretty much have a constant event. So if you've played on horse for a long time, you know that. Today is day one of Al's memory event and I just already visited the page. So I've read the little inf information panel that shows up when you click on the question mark here. I haven't completed the tutorial for this yet. So we're gonna do that. And the reason why I always advise to participate in an event, even if you don't like the event or you don't plan on completing it, the benefit of actually participating every day, every time that you can, is that you can still win free items from it. And even if you get low end items, like just basic store items, such as saddles, bridles, just a few pieces of leather, which happens quite often, you can still sell that or use that and stock it up to prepare for an event, okay? Anything you can sell for money is, a, like, that's great in my opinion. So just stock up on what you can. So I'm gonna start off with the event. You want, I advise starting, go directly to the event the first time you log in because if there are objectives for the event, you want to know what those are beforehand so you don't go work all your horses, work your equestrian center, and then it turns out you did all your objectives without probably activating some the first time, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this. This is the memory event. So if you played memory when you were a kid, hopefully you'll do pretty well on this. Cherries, cherries, we got a match. I did work with this event during testing and I like it. I always liked playing memory when I was a kid. We won an Apollo's Lear, yay. Now, see this one is, we do have an objective for this. It doesn't have anything to do with working my horses. It's just using a joker. So following the tutorial, you can also use jokers to help you. We have to turn over a tile first, then we can use the joker, confirm, confirm the objective because we got more jokers, make a guess. And of course we were wrong. Fish, bell, this was a bell, that's a bell, we got a match. What are you? A chocolate egg. I don't think that was the egg. That was a hen. That's a fish. Okay, this was a fish. That's a fish. Yay. That's a chocolate egg. That was a chocolate egg. And what are you? The hen and the chocolate hen. Yay. Don't tell me that's where I can buy that. So we won 3,000 Equus and that's pretty decent for only level two that was. So I'm just gonna look through these objectives real quick. Water a horse. I'm assuming that actually means give water to a horse, which is nifty because if you're low on aging points, if you had already gone through and worked all your horses, you had no aging points, you would have had to somehow find an aging point to age the horse in order to give it some water. So this was a benefit that we looked at this objective first. The next objective is stroke 10 horses. That will probably require me to age some horses because I don't have 10 horses total, I don't think. Now, what we're going to do next, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll complete this later. So I also advise going ahead and stroking a horse in the safe haven. And uh, I also definitely recommend catching all the UFOs you can, but an apple isn't really much. So I'm gonna leave the apple and hope it turns into something else later. We got some equus for doing that. Okay, so we stroked a horse in the safe haven. We're going to go through and we're going to work the daily 
public divines, which I mentioned last time. So that includes stroking five Xanthos a day because you have a chance to win horns of plenty from him. And what I always do is one, two, three, four, five. I go through and I pick Xanthos, just a bunch of random ones, because the sort of common consensus is that by stroking random Xanthos, you have a bigger chance of winning a Horn of Plenty from him. Because the belief is that each Xanthos is like his own mini lottery. And the fewer people who stroke him, then that means you have a better chance of winning a Horn of Plenty from him. I'm not sure if that's totally true or not, because a couple of times I've tried stroking Xanthos on the test site pre-prod. And I didn't win any Horn of Plenties at all. And due to the low number of players that are on pre-prod, I find it kind of... Uh, I find it a little bit unbelievable that other players would have stroked that same one during the test server, but I don't know. So you can only defrost one frost a day. And by doing this, ooh, I want a Hypnose Blanket. Yay! I like to put these on Immortals, Immortal Horses, because you don't have to worry about boarding them. And then that's just a quick AP hunter. So... That's Frost. And now Topaz. We can congratulate five Topaz every day. I'm going to do some random ones. So one, two, three, four, five Topaz. Congratulate all of you for a chance to win a diamond. And even if you don't win a diamond from him, you get 50 Equus. So that's nice. I prefer diamonds because I love diamonds. Ten diamonds equals one pass in the black market. And during special offers, you can use diamonds to pay for say extra moves or uh, extra moves extra points instead of paying passes so that's nice so that's all the daily divines you can also answer an archimedes question do they have Archi okay we don't have archimedes on this server because archimedes came about due to the horse quiz that we had like a number of years ago so International has Archimedes, Equidao has Archimedes, not sure about any of the other regional servers, but this server doesn't have Archimedes. Now our next one, what are we going to do next? We are going to go ahead and we're going to work our horses. I did buy a couple horses since the last time we were on here. That way I can age more horses daily in order to just age them up to become pass horses age them up every day for aging points because you have a chance to, what do I want to board you in? I do like fodder. Let's just do this. That's really expensive. 2,400 for 60 days. We'll do 30. The dilemmas and struggles of choosing where to board your horse. Who knew? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, work our horses daily and him, I named him Junior Croatius because you have a chance. I'm going to go ahead and train you. You have a chance of your horse being turned into a Croatius once a month, but it's only one horse out of all the horses, out of all the accounts, rather, that are named Junior Croatius. Uh, FG1. Okay, so we'll put you in there. And we're going to do lessons and competitions with all the horses that I have tacked up to do competitions. It's not a lot of Equus, but, you know... Every little bit helps. So definitely do that every day that you can. Because if you don't have any pass horses right now or just a low number of pass horses, Equus will help build it up. You know, even if you're going to eventually breed them on your own, which is what I do. I'm an international game. I breed my own pass horses. But you're going to have to buy some horses to start breeding them. So you're going to need Equus anyway. Work you. Nine. Come horse. Prince. Um, this is one of my starters, so I'm actually going to work on blupping him very slowly. So I'm going to train him today instead of entering a competition or doing a lesson with him. This is a mare. Can I breed you yet? I can't breed you yet. This was one of the ones I bought. And if you'll notice on some of my horses, whoops, 14, I've named a couple of them mg or fg like this one and this is just to note quickly whether it's a male or a female and then what age group it's in because i number 
I break my pass horses up into groups, groups one through six, and then there's five ages within each group. So one, so foals that are newborns through just under five years old, which would be the four years and 12 months will be in group one. And then five year olds through nine years and 12 months will be in group two, like this one is because it's six and then so on. And then group six is actually pass horses. It's just an easier way to keep them organized for me. Now that we will catch because we can either use that or sell that for more than what I could sell an apple for. And naming them this way, it's just an easier way, especially if you don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't have a lot of breeding farms, you're going to need to name them in a way, or at least I would recommend naming them in a way that makes it easier to know exactly what you're looking at. Nine, speed you, good. And, oh, we got one more here. We're going to enter you in some competitions. These are pretty good size kitties for the comps here. I'm just going to keep entering this horse in the trail. Now her, I could actually breed today, but I'd rather use a cover from one of my own stallions. So I would also recommend breeding horses every day that you don't mind breeding. Uh, yeah. Okay. So breed horses every day that you don't mind breeding on my international game. I have my horse is organized in a way that I am covering on certain days and then I'm foaling on certain days so it doesn't create too much work for me. So that way then I have a continuous supply of pass horses that I'm breeding and aging up daily. So that's all my horses that we took care of. Now also go ahead, we're going to check our equestrian center. I did buy a meadow and a greenhouse since the last time I was here. I bought two greenhouses. So we've got flax that needs to be harvested and today is winter. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plant some more flax in my greenhouse. And I've been planting flax in here because at the moment, aside from manure, I don't have anything that I can craft in my workshops. And flax right now is the easiest thing for me to craft or flax is the easiest thing for me to grow and then to start crafting in my workshop because then we can craft saddle blankets and um, polo wraps. And I don't have any other meadows to use. We're not going to worry about that. And if you have a workshop, obviously go ahead and start crafting and harvesting in your workshop because if you have a nice system going for that, you want to keep that up since it works in real life hours. So if you like crafting saddles, which is what I do on my international game, I craft one star or two star saddles every day. And I know exactly when those are ready to be harvested and ready to craft. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to the store to see if we have any items that we can sell. One lone apple to sell. That's awesome. Three equas. Thank you. We're going to sell a few carrots. Not a whole lot on this, just in case I need some and I'm boarded in an EC that doesn't have carrots. I'm going to keep all my oats. We'll keep that for now. We have one bridle do I want to sell. We're going to keep the bridle. We have one piece of iron. I'm sure we can use that for something later on. And it looks like that's pretty much it for now. I don't have a whole lot going on in this account yet. But if you followed along, that's some of the stuff you can do to start preparing from scratch. And basically, your main thing is that you want to build up Equus. If you don't have any pass horses, you want to build up Equus so you can start buying a few horses to get your pass breeding farm started. So make sure you do all your dailies every day. I call these doing my dailies. So participate in the event so you can get free items to sell. If I had some items, I would also go ahead and go to the exchanges to see if I could sell any, which actually I would go to the black market so I can see my stash. Which I have a few things I can sell. I don't want to sell anything right now. I'll hang on to them for a little bit. So remember to participate, participate in the event for free items. Stroke a horse in the safe haven to see if you can get some equus. You can do that three times a day. Interact with all the daily divines. Work your horses for APs. Enter them in competitions. Enter them in lessons to get some equus. And make sure you check your meadows. Check your workshops every day so you can harvest and craft and plant as needed. And then go ahead and just sell items you don't need so you can build up your equus. And pretty soon you'll have enough equus that you can build up some pass horses and so you can buy some pass horses get your pass horse farm started and then that just 
puts us one step closer to getting ready for an event that we can actually complete, which won't be a while for us yet, but it gets us one step closer. So thanks for joining me again, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.